Welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this video, I am going to explain you a very important identity which is x plus a times x plus b equals x square plus a plus b x plus a b. So this is very easy. I will show you how this identity is derived. So let me take the left hand side which is x plus a in one bracket another bracket it is x plus b. So now we are going to multiply the first bracket with the second bracket. So let me take the first term which is x and I am going to multiply this with x plus b. Now I am going to multiply a with x plus b. Now let's multiply x times x is x square plus x times b is bx plus a times x is ax plus a times b is ab. So now when you look at this carefully the middle two terms have common x. So let me take out that common. So this x square will remain same and this I will put it inside the bracket. I will take the x outside common. So here we have b plus a remaining. So instead of b plus a I can also write it as a plus b plus ab. So here is our derivative for this identity. So x plus a times x plus b equals x square plus a plus b x plus a b. So here is our derivative. When you carefully look at this formula, there is a small hint. So see the first term which is x, we have squared it and see the second terms that a and b. We have a and b, so we have added this. So this is the sum of the numbers x and when you see the last term, we have again multiplied these two. So this is the product. So when you multiply x plus a and x plus b, we write x square plus sum of the numbers x plus product. So even you can remember it in this way. It's very easy to remember. Now we have a lot more formulas with x minus a, x minus b and x plus a, x minus b. We have four formulas with this. Instead of remembering all the four formulas, it is better to remember only one formula. This one formula will, will be enough. If in case if you have a question like x plus a and x minus b. So here instead of remembering the another formula for this, a simple way to remember this is we can use the same formula. We can keep this as x plus a itself and x minus b I can write it as x plus of minus b. So you will take the term b as negative b here. So let me substitute and explain you. So it is x square. I will write the x square first then a plus b. So I have here a plus of minus b. x plus a times b. So I can write this as a times negative b. So here my formula would be x square plus of a minus b x minus a b. So this is actually the formula for x plus a and x minus b. So instead of remembering this formula you can just remember the first formula which we have learned which is very easy to remember. So you just remember this first formula and just put the numbers which comes in negative as the negative positive of the negative number. So which will be very easy you need not remember the second formula again. Similarly if you have x minus a and x minus b. So here also you can write it as x plus of minus a and x plus of minus b. And now we can apply our original formula which we have at the top x square plus minus a plus of minus b x plus negative a times negative b. So here our answer would be x square. I will take the minus common outside. So here it will be a plus b x then here minus times minus will become plus plus ab. 
So now we have the third formula. So this was the first formula. This is our second formula. And this is our third formula. So instead of remembering three different formulas, it's better to remember one formula. So from this you can derive all the other formulas. So remember this formula and apply the minus negative terms as a minus term here. So this will be pretty easy. So if you have any queries regarding this identity, please comment down in the comment section. And for more tips and tricks, do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.